everyone, Kiwi King 77 here, here to do a full review video on the Black Star ROM on your AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note i717. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. I can link to it in the description of the video if you would like to check it out. But let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, you want to go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and under about phone you will see it is Android version 4.0.4 based on the latest ice cream sandwich build UCLF6. You'll see you have a little star there, ROM version, Black Star V2. You can quickly tap on the Android version and you will see uh, he has modified that little Easter egg to just say Black Star. You can press and hold on it, it'll get bigger, and of course, Got that other hidden Easter egg there. Other than that, though, you do will notice that it is themed um, very differently than stock, and it looks great, actually, in my opinion. It's definitely a more dark theme, which, of course, goes with the name Black Star. Uh, you do get four launcher options right out of the box. You will see you have Apex, Nova, TouchWiz, and TouchWiz Launcher. Apex and Nova are both... Uh, made to emulate the stock ice cream sandwich or jelly bean uh, launcher with some added tweaks and you'll see Apex settings and Nova settings, various settings where you can go into your app drawer, you can go in between apps, downloaded, and widgets uh, simultaneously horizontally through the app drawer. Again, this uh, Nova launcher is very similar with various tweaks, transition settings, and such. So definitely uh, be sure to check out both of those launchers. You also get two TouchWiz launchers. TouchWiz Home would be the uh, Galaxy S3 launcher with uh, the various transitions and such. You have to click on the widget button to actually go into the widget uh, drawer. And you get the TouchWiz launcher, which is the stock ice cream sandwich one that comes with the Note with modified buttons, as you can tell right there. But overall, many of the applications icons are all themed. You'll, you'll notice all share, calculator, clock, camera, messaging, my files, music player, play store, all of those icons are all themed to, to have a more dark look to them. So it will look great and go well with the theme. We can go ahead and pull down and check out the notification bar here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so went ahead and pulled it down, and you can tell the nice battery icon difference. It's got the percentage with a nice circle mod to it. Sorry, I have to blur out the voicemail number just so you don't have this phone number here. But other than that, up at the top, you've got uh, some toggles, which are there's a lot of them. You'll see a lot of added toggles. You have shutdown, reboot, lock screen, screen timeout, rotation, sound, airplane mode, brightness, hotspot, flashlight, GPS, Bluetooth data, Wi-Fi. So many different ones. One of my favorite being flashlight, you can go ahead and turn that on and you'll see the LED light does come on on the back of the phone. It's one of the nice cool things. You'll also notice you have settings, you have take a screenshot, you have lock, uh, lock the screen, so basically pressing this lock, padlock there will lock the screen and uh, just like it is if I press the power button. And you can also search. So those various options are great. So that was the notification bar there, very awesome. You can actually edit those toggles. Uh, there are many different settings. We can go ahead and go to our dialer first. If you wanted to check that out, you will see it is a theme dialer, nice black and white theme. Having a black and white theme on a Super AMOLED display does help save battery. In my opinion, I, I really like the black and white themes because it's very clean and it looks uh, looks very nice. So there's something that's uh, themed. You, uh, again, all those icons are themed. I can go ahead and send a text message if I wanted to to, let's say, Google. I can send it to 466453 and say, hey, and hit send. And it will send Google a text message. You'll see nice themed messaging application as well. They did text me back right away. You can go into the messaging and there's the response there. We can also go ahead and check out the browser. Load it on up. Should be the, the stock browser. You'll notice uh, a lot of things are just like stock TouchWiz with some various theming added tweaks as well. So loads everything on up, loads att.yahoo.com up, and uh, loads up great. I mean, obviously, this would be the stock browser here. I am on 4G at the moment. Other things I did want to show you go into our app drawer applications out of the ordinary. It is pre rooted, so you will see there is uh, Super SU right there, pre rooted, uh, run all your root applications such as Titanium Backup, which is pre installed there. Uh, you have the Task Manager, Solid Explorer, Super Video, SMS Backup to back up your uh, texts and such. You have S Voice included. Uh, a lot of the stock applications such as S Memo, S Note, you have Quick Pick, which is an alternative to the gallery. I do like Quick Pick a lot, so check that out, uh, of course. Also, we can go ahead and go to our search bar and we tap on it. 
and it should load up uh, something similar to Google Now right here. So if I wanted to say something, what's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? And there you have it. So you got a nice Google Now response, 18 degrees, which would be in Celsius. You can change those settings. You'll see it comes up with some more results, letting me know it's actually 64 down there. So you can mess with those settings, but awesome. You got those uh, voice responses from Google Now. And just tap that little voice icon there. That's another nice little feature. But one of the main things about this ROM is the awesome settings it does have. So go into your settings, you'll see up at the top wireless and networks, but there's a whole section for Blackstar mods. So here's where you can actually change those quick panel toggles. You can hide the notification bar on change. You can change which buttons show up. So if you don't use, let's say you don't use Bluetooth at all, you can uncheck Bluetooth and it won't show up anymore. You can also uncheck, let's say you don't use orientation or lock screen. You can uncheck those. Now when I pull down the notification bar, you will notice that uh, those are gone. So there's no Bluetooth. Bluetooth toggle used to be right there. It's not there anymore. They disappear right away. So that's uh, very cool that you can edit that. You can also change the order of them. Just go to widget button order. Press on the left side here and you can change whatever order you want those toggles to be in and that changes automatically as well. So very cool quick panel. You have tethering options which you can just turn on portable Wi-Fi hotspot right there. A great setting there. USB utilities which would be which will allow mass storage, USB mass storage. So that's big for those of you that do have, not necessarily, but older PCs that don't support NTP. You have CPU spy information with which lets you know which uh, basically how, how fast the CPU is running at the amount of time that it's running, letting you know uh, times, percentages, so that's a nice little neat tool. You also have CPU monitor which lets you know which applications are using the CPU uh, and letting you know the percentages and such. You also have system tuner which we can go in and I believe you have to allow it super user permissions. You can do so many things in here. It's a task manager, analyzer, startups, one-click backups, uh, tweaks, Mess with these at your own risk, just because make sure you know what you're doing it before you mess with any of those. Fast dormancy, I don't know what fast dormancy is. Just go ahead and go to this site here and look it up. I did not look it up myself, so be sure to check that out before you do use it. As I said, use it at your own risk. Tools, uh, this is a great one. You can enable, disable ad blocking. You can install TouchWiz UX Launcher, install Nova, Trebuchet, S-Voice, check for updates. You can install a different GPS configuration. You can change the LCD density as well. And you can flash a different recovery. Twerp, Clockwork Mod, Clockwork Mod Touch. And I believe Terminal Emulator right there on the end. So that's another neat little uh, Black Star modification. And you have a CSC changer as well. Other than that though, below you have all the, the basic settings down here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Those are the main ones that I wanted to cover because those are so cool and that you can just make those kind of modifications on the fly. Uh, if you do make some kind of change or reboot, you know, it usually will allow that change to occur. It does have a four-way four reboot menu. Press and hold the power button. You can hit restart and then it will. you can choose reboot, hot boot, download, or recovery mode. Um, great if you want to flash a modification or something. You can just go into recovery and flash that right away. Has a CRT screen off animation. As I'm sure a lot of you saw here would be the lock screen. More similar to the ice cream sandwich lock screen where you got unlock straight to the camera application. You can also tap in certain places and use the stock lock screen style. So uh, that uh, is, is very cool actually. I like that about the lock screen itself. It's really about everything new that I wanted to show and talk about with this ROM. You have your basic S Pen settings where you can take that screenshot and draw on it and all that good stuff. So those are all the basic settings. It is a TouchWiz based ROM, so you're gonna get those things straight from the stock ROM, just with those added tweaks and such. But it's about everything I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, or definitely let me know what you think, be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.